All right, look, we're here with Lawrence Nixon and Larry. A big win tonight for your team. Yeah, huge win. Uh, I think we're all we're all pretty happy. Uh, you know, the defense played unreal. Um, got us uh, got us the ball a couple times in their in their zone, and we had, we managed to capitalize. We had one good long drive that uh, panned out for us, and I think that's important to take away as an offense. You know, you, you can't always rely on your defense getting you the ball, but we're all we're all smiles here. You have a really good a mix of veterans and young guys on the team. I know you've been mentoning some of the younger guys like Jeff Hassler earlier. Uh, it's great to see him have uh, another breakout game. For sure. I mean, he's, he's such an energetic player and, um, you know, he just loves loves the game. And I think he's really happy here, which is which is nice to see. Uh, so I mean, we're going to continue to work and get on the ball. Uh, you know, he's great with passing the run. So, yeah, he played real well. I saw you getting uh, your photo taken with the offensive line. What's it like playing, playing behind those guys? Oh, it's great. They're a group, great group of guys. We're all pretty tight. We uh, stuck together in the summer training and stuff. And uh, so, you know, I know them all pretty well. And, and it's just fun playing with them. And they've been playing really well the last few weeks. We've really been able to, you know, get the running game going. And, and it's uh, helping me with the passing game. And I guess the last question, you guys uh, face Regina next week. Yeah, got to win that game essentially to, to finish in first place. When do you guys start getting ready for that? Uh, for sure. I mean, we'll be in tomorrow watching this game film, and then it'll be, uh, you know, all of our eyes will be set on, on Regina. And um, like I said uh, earlier, I think, you know, Shides came into the locker room and said uh, that we, we got we to gotta take it to these guys in the second half, even more up by 30. It's, it's still a game that we can improve on, and I think we'll watch the film and we'll learn from our mistakes, and hopefully that'll be the, the, the difference next week. All right, Hubert Biden, it was your uh, last home game, or regular season home game, last season uniform, you had to have the New Jerseys, and you really uh, uh, put a beating on Alberta. How did it feel? Man, that felt unbelievable. Everything from the starting kickoff straight through. Everything was just unbelievable. What's it, what was it like running through, uh, or running out uh, in front of the fans? You're on your own, you usually introduce as a team. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty special, that's for sure. Look back and watch the other two guys come out, like, definitely know what they're feeling. And uh, you, you, you guys, uh, the offensive line uh, really opened up some holes for the running backs. You guys moved the ball really well today. A, a big team effort from you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's what we come to do every week. Hopefully next week we can put together 60 minutes and string through the whole thing. All right, thanks, Hubert. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, we're here with Mitch Reason. And Mitch, uh, you guys just uh, ended up beating up Alberta 39-3. to uh, Maybe before we ask you about the game, what was it like watching some of those fifth-year guys uh, run out after you guys came onto the field? Oh, I mean, I mean, that's such an inspiration. We get, we get fired up anyways running out to the dog and then watching the heart and soul of our team come out one by one and just the reaction from the guys and from the from the fans. It's such an inspiration to get to all high before the game even starts. And you had two interceptions today. Maybe walk us through the first one. Uh, the first one, the quarterback kind of rolled out and I've just been watching film all week and we knew that they like to throw that the deep outside route so I just kind of sat on the sideline and fortunate enough I think I think we got some pressure and he just kind of threw it up over through his receiver I think just kind of I made the catch. All right we're about the second one. Second one sort of similar play just kind of over through a, a curl I think so that one just kind of fell into ours that was, that was pretty easy. Oh I mean it feels wonderful I mean they, they put it to us when we were in Alberta and I mean our defense didn't really play that great that game so I mean to come back and put it to them I mean this feels unreal this feels great. And you had uh, two interceptions. I think you're probably now leading Canada West in interceptions. Um, it, it seems like you're always in the right place at the right time. Um, you know what? I, I just kind of hang back, and that D-line did a fantastic job tonight. Same with the linebackers. They got pressure on them all day. I mean, quarterbacks in this league don't just don't throw people by 5 to 10 yards. I mean, there's people in their face, and that was just a great job by the D-line and the linebackers today. What do you say about the fans and running out uh, through the dog in the goal six tonight? Wow, I mean, this is this is something the eighty of us are never going to forget. I mean, this is the stuff that dreams are made out of. Uh, nobody else in Canada West has even a quarter like this. You got to toss some mad props to Dubé. He's done an unreal job in setting this up. Like nobody else has anybody that's going half this length. I mean, I saw him before the game started. He was putting up the flags by himself. Like that's a guy, you know, who's not just paying people to do stuff. He's doing stuff on his own because he wants to be here and he's proud of this program. So. That guy's done a real job, and we just can't thank him enough. So you guys have uh, Regina next week. Are you taking any time off tonight, or are you guys back to, back to work tomorrow? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll celebrate this win tonight, but tomorrow, um, first place is on the line. We need to win that game. That's that's playoffs right there. Um, we want to play here. We always want to play here. This is why, and uh, we're going to go to Regina, and we're going to give them our best. That's for sure. All right, thanks. Awesome, thank you.